Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Ahmed Hashmi and today we will talk about language and one of the major schools of linguistics and that is structuralism. What is language? According to Henry Sweet, language is the expression of ideas by means of speech sounds combined into words. Words are combined into sentences, this combination answering to that of ideas into thoughts. It means that with the help of language, we transport our message and we convert our thoughts into ideas to let the people understand. These are basically words and with the help of those words, we join those words to make sentences, the meaningful sentences. In this way, we transport our message or we convey our thoughts, emotions, or any message. As we know that linguistics is the scientific study of language, we need to understand the scientific basis. With the help of those bases, we can understand the structures, the functions, and we'll explore the underlying systems in human brain which help in processing the language. We have many schools of linguistics. Here we will discuss functionalism, structuralism, generativism and cognitivism. But this video will be about structuralism. Structuralism theory was put forward by Ferdinand de Saussure and when he proved this theory it was first time in 1916 that it was published in his work. According to structuralism language is static system of interconnected units. We do have components and units of language and those are interconnected to convey a right message. We have structures and we need to follow certain rules which work under those structures and in this way language can be acquired or can be understand by any speaker or listener. Ferdinand de Saussure is called the father of modern linguistics because he shifted the work from diachronic approach to synchronic approach. According to Ferdinand de Saussure, we should not get back into the history to find out the similarities and differences of any code or language. According to his idea, we need to be in the present year or in the present time to explore the similarities and differences of same code which is in practice in the different parts of the world. For example, if I talk about English language, I will work in the same 2019 to, to explore the characteristics, similarities and differences of English language which is being practiced in the different parts of the world, of the country. I need to find out the accent, the difference of accent, the difference of vocabulary, the connotations, the denotations or any morphological analysis. According to Ferdinand de Saussure, semiotic analysis is including syntagmatic and pragmatic devices. What is syntagmatic de uh, devices? Actually the rules which connect the different units and components or of language, any language that is called syntagmatic devices. For example, in the present example, the man cried. There is a kind of interconnection between the man and man cried. It means that if I want to acquire the English language, I need to understand these structures and need to learn the interconnection between these words or component or units. 
then the question is how can I generate new sentences? So the answer is pragmatics. Paradigmatics. That I can substitute the words, the content words, boy with man, died with cried, sang with cried. It means that I can substitute the word to generate new sentences. But I need to follow the certain structure, the certain set of rules which work underline these sentences. Language is a fixed system of units which are interconnected. It means that we do have a kind of system in our mind for any language which we learn through these structures. And in this way we can generate new sentences or we can communicate in our society or we can get the function of language. It was the Ferdinand de Saussure who put forward the concept of sign. The foundational unit in structural linguistics is sign. It means that if we want to understand the structuralism approach, we need to understand the concept of sign. Ferdinand de Saussure says that sign is consists of two things. Number one, signifier and the second is signified. In the present example of apple, if I want to have the physical representation of any idea or concept, I need to have a sound or a word or an image. So these helpful physical existence with the help of language, we say signify. And with this physical existence in the form of language, we explore our ideas. We explore our mental activities. For example, I want to say tree. But under that particular word tree, I mean a kind of representation. That a kind of um, living thing which has leaves, roots, shoot system or kind of that kind of representation. So if I want to generate or I want to transport the idea of tree, I need to use the word T R -E, e tree. It means that the mental concept is signified which I want to convey and I am conveying this message with the help of language and that language is called signified. In this way, D. Saucer try to explore the structuralist approach with the help of sign. Around 1950, philosophers and anthropologists took his theory to apply on the analysis of text. They tried to explore the utility of Ferdinand de Saussure's theory by applying his theory on their text. That how the structure has been found and how the structures of the language work in the text, in the written text. But the results were not uh, very good and not in the favor of that kind of text. So the critics have uh, the approach on those results that it was not the exact theory which Saussure proposed and philosophers and anthropologists misinterpreted it and results were misleading. According to them, they didn't apply the same theory with the same rules. So the results were misleading. So this was all about the kind of structuralism or the structuralism approach in the concept of linguistics. If you like this stuff, like my videos, please subscribe my channel, like and share my videos.